guys and welcome back to No Bland Makeup where we do makeup and body paint tutorials usually with a cosplay twist but at this point I feel like I'm lying to myself about that. <laughs> so today we're gonna be well I'm gonna be showing you how to do a cut crease. The reason for this is because one of my coworkers, one of my friends at work asked if I would do this show how to do it and I said yeah and that was like a month and a half ago but better late than never. <laughs> But before we get into the tutorial, I do have a merch store, so if you guys want to pick up some stuff, support the channel. The links will be in the description down below, and yes, it is still awkward saying that. Probably never gonna change. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with some purple eyeshadow, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the crease. First part of this, we're definitely gonna be focusing on the actual crease. So you wanna take your time and make sure that whatever your base color is going to be for that part you have it nicely blended out and everything like that because that's really going to be the focus of the entire look the way i kind of describe a cut crease is basically like you're putting two looks together kind of sort of not really. you'll see what i mean now that i have the purple where i want it in the crease i'm going to go ahead and take another brush and blend it out if you're having a bit of a hard time blending out whatever color you put in there, you can always take something that's closer to your skin color and use that to help kind of move things along. But I went in with a little bit more of that purple and kind of winged out the shape a little bit more and I also added more of the purple near the crease because I wanted to deepen up that color just a little bit. Then I went in with some black eyeshadow just on the crease, like literally just in the crease. Because um, like I said before, this is kind of like taking two looks and mashing them together. So like the smoky eye and then like whatever else I'm going to do on the bottom half. So what you can do to kind of control what's going on a little bit better is to take a pencil brush and literally put the eyeshadow where you want it and then go in with a blending brush and blend everything out a little bit more. This will make your life a lot easier. I can promise you that much. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> so I took some concealer and a smaller brush that had kind of a point to it and I started carving out the crease and basically all the way through. Um, essentially what a cut crease is doing is basically just how do I put it? Basically like dividing up the space between your lid and whatever you put in the crease so that way you can do something else to it. Like I mentioned earlier, it's kind of like taking two makeup looks and smashing them together. Um, so when you're working on the crease part, you really want to take your time, go in slowly. I don't know how some people can do it, like their crease in one fell swoop. I tried that and it failed miserably many times. <laughs> So, especially with something so detail oriented like this, you really want to take your time and really get the lines perfect, work in tiny sections, and then kind of move on once you have that area kind of smoothed over. That way, also, you don't need to spend so much time editing your look in like any kind of face tune or anything like that. I'm too lazy to do that. Another tip just to make sure that you can actually see which part of your eye is going to be showing is to keep checking in the mirror looking straight ahead so you can see how much of your crease is actually going to be showing. Now once I had that part done, it's really simple to just go over with some eyeshadow and boom, you're done. Um, you can do basically any kind of look on the newly cut crease that you want. So you can do like a halo eye or something like that. I decided to keep it a little more simple um, and this was going to be like in conjunction with another book that I was doing that I'll have linked up in the cards for anyone who's interested. Um, like I said, if you want to make sure you know how much of your eye look is going to be showing when you have your eyes open, just keep looking in the mirror. Especially if you have more hooded eyes, that's definitely going to help you a lot. Then to add just a little bit more drama, I went in with that pencil brush and kind of extended that black line I did on the crease out towards that winged part that I did. Just a little bit. Then I took some purple eyeshadow on that same um, pencil brush, I cleaned it off though, just to make sure there was nothing on there, and applied that to the lower lash line to kind of bring the look together. 
Now you can leave this look the way it is, put on some mascara and some lashes and be done. I decided to go in with some eyeliner and give myself a wing because I'm being a little extra. <laughs> Realistically you don't have to do that, but if you guys do want a tutorial on how to do winged eyeliner, some tips and tricks to do that, I will leave that in the description or in the cards, one of those two places, for anybody who's curious. Um, like I mentioned when doing the cut crease though, easiest way to do anything that's really detailed is to really take your time and work in smaller sections just to get it perfect. Now I did do lashes and a little bit of gold eyeliner. I was out of frame for it though, so if you guys want to see it, I'll have it, well, for the lashes anyway, I'll have a video on how to apply them linked in the cards. And then for the lips, since I was feeling very purple. I decided to go with a liquid lipstick. Um, this one is from Kat Von D. It's one of my favorites. Because I wasn't done being extra, I decided to go in with a lip topper from Lime Crime. And yeah, I regret nothing. It looks super cool. Um, if you want less uh, drama filled versions, uh, you can get a liquid lipstick from Revlon. They have glitter ones. And Dose of Color has a purple that's pretty similar to this. I like it almost as much. But that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you actually learned how to do a cut crease. Otherwise, this was a total fail. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, I was feeling myself while I was doing this outro. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> And don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments, duh, about what you guys want to see next. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.